Hi, this is Amy Lewis with NetApp SolidFire, and I'm here with Den. Den, can you introduce yourself? Sure, uh, I'm Den. I'm working for a company called Splunk as a principal software developer. Excellent. So we're here at DockerCon. It's my first DockerCon. Is this yours first, or? Yes, it's actually my first DockerCon as well. Very cool. So, what's the coolest thing you've seen, done, or heard around around Docker? What are you thinking about these days? Uh, it's it's just you know great to see that how for like few years they actually can uh, get like four thousand people in Seattle for one conference. It's, it's pretty amazing. I, I I'm thrilled. It's it's huge. So what are you working on? I hear you've got some interesting stuff. What sort of is your passion and what drives you around Docker? Oh yeah, so uh, actually I first time I started to work with Docker about like a year ago and uh, from then uh, we, we did a lot of things uh, related to Splunk as well. We built, uh, we started to work on uh, building actually a Splunk uh, container, Splunk images for Docker and also how uh, infrastructure about how to get logs from uh, containers into Splunk, right? And one of the things we did is actually we built Splunk login driver which kind of helps people to get logs from containers in Splunk. Cool. So talk us through that. Um, what is that like? Uh, it's actually was pretty interesting experience that you know like uh, how it happened actually. I just you know like uh, I talked to one of our PMs, uh, Glenn Block, great guy, and he said like, hey, why would we not build you know like long, Splunk login driver? And I said like, I don't know it was actually you know like it was so useful. I went home you know like one evening built the prototype. After this you know like it just go through and like at the now we have it in version 110 and so actually uh but this was interesting experience actually getting in, into the docker uh, community uh be a contributor and you know the real welcome community great it's so easy to uh send a pull request get the feedback you know, keep talking about like what how, how and uh, what we can improve and uh, it's it's great to see that how many actually customers now happy to use that and keep talking about that how easy now it's collect logs uh, uh, to, to Splunk uh, from the Docker. So. so do you feel like when you've got a really good active community like that it really tears down those walls between the customer side engineer and the vendor side engineer? Uh, sure. <laughs> Because you just make that sound like it's the easiest thing in the world to do. It's just kind of a cool story. Oh yeah, no, it's uh, it's great to see. And um, I mean, the one thing is, uh, you know, like when you're trying to build something uh, in open source, you always get feedback much quicker, right? And like you, you can see actually the real customers because before I'm just a regular developer, right? I don't see the customers. I build my things, and you know, like after this, our sales guys trying to sell it, right? But now, you know, we try to build it and put it in the docker, right? And so now we see we get feedback. We see how what's the response. We we see like what they actually need uh, it for and uh, how well it can be integrated. It's actually, it's, it's great, great to see. Very cool. So, what do you think about the uh, about the uh, wristbands? I feel like we have to bump oh, on yeah, camera. Sure. Yeah. <laughs> oh, it didn't. Re <laughs> <laughs> what do you think about this kind of technology? Uh, it's it's pretty cool actually. It's uh, it's great to see that you know like IoT is getting. I, I hope that maybe they are using something like Splunk to collect all the data from the bands, right? <laughs> well done, Dan. Well done. <laughs> thank you for coming on Pop Up Tech Talks. Okay, thank you, thank you. We'll see you next time. <laughs>